Hi, everybody. It is December 23rd here, Friday. Um, God, it's um, my heart really goes out to people around the country that are really suffering through these incredible storm that that's taking place. Um, my friend Jason of Michigan just sent me pictures of his yard all snowed in and theoretically it's going to be like close to 80 here for Christmas in Los Angeles. I mean the sky is just clear and blue with a few white puffy clouds and I see all this stuff of people in airports, you know, families and stuff that are just stranded because so many flights are canceled and stuff. So my heart really, really goes out to people that are being subjected to all of this, you know, and especially people that are still on the streets. And please, please don't leave animals outside uh, in this weather. You know, bring them in the house. You know, it's, it's like there's nothing more important than saving their lives. Don't worry about if they might pee or something in the house and you know, clean it up. But it's really a difficult, difficult time for so many with the uh, with the weather being what it is. So my, my heart and my thoughts really go out to everybody in this situation. Um, I'm off to the Amundsen Theater tonight, which I'm looking forward to. I'm going with Blue, my, my buddy who I did my book with. Uh, we're going to see the musical about the Temptations. And, uh, you know, Maureen and I were going to go, but she had foot surgery. And the last thing she needs is to be trudging up, you know, flights of stairs and sitting, you know, being in an aisle where somebody comes by and steps on your foot. So uh, it's going to be much safer for her to stay home with the pups and, and relax and uh, Blue and I'll head down and see the show tonight. Um, other than that, I, I was just thinking musically, I would, I wanted to go back and visit um, two artists who I really loved working with. I did, I think, one video way, way back. I played along on that one. Um, but that's um, from 1971. It's Tom Jans and Mimi Farina. Um, and the album was called Take Heart. I'm going to read a little bit about them to you here and then talk a little about the players on this and then play a couple of songs for you. Uh, Tom Jans was born in 1948, and he passed in 1984. He was an American folk singer, songwriter, and guitarist from San Jose, California. Mimi Baez Farina, born Margarita Mimi Baez, was born in 45, and she passed in 2001. Um, she was a singer, songwriter, and activist, the youngest of three daughters to a Scottish mother and a Mexican-American physicist, Albert Baez. She was the younger sister of the singer and activist, Joan Baez. Uh, playing coffee houses in San Francisco, Jans met Joan Baez, and who introduced her to her little sister, Mimi Farina, in 1970. Farina had achieved cult status as part of a duo with her late husband, Richard Farina, who I believe was killed in a motorcycle accident. Uh, Farina had begun writing new songs and was looking for a partner to perform them with. Jan seemed to be a similar collaborator and the two formed the new duo. The duo played San Francisco Bay Area clubs and received notice for their performance at the Big Sur Folk Festival. Uh, the group then toured extensively as a supporting act for Cat Stevens and then James Taylor. We were out together on the road back in the day. They received a recording contract from A&M Records, releasing their album Take Heart in 71. However, the album received little notice, and the duo split up in 72. And one of the things that was pivotal on that album project was that was where I met Craig Durge for the first time, who took Carol King's place in James Taylor's band. And that out of that, we formed the section, and, and Craig went on to do like a lot of stuff with like Crosby and Nash and Jackson Brown and all, you know, tons of people and Craig's still at it. So, um, so I'm going to play a couple of songs from that. The first one from this album I'm going to play is called Carolina and it's myself on bass, Jim Keltner on drums, uh, Tom Jans and Mimi Farina, uh, both playing guitar and the piano is Craig Durge on this. So here we go. This is Carolina. <laughs> Carolina's 
so that period, it's really amazing. Keltner. Keltner just killed it on that. His brushes on the snare are amazing. Oh, I haven't heard this in so long. Um, I'm going to do a song called, let me pull this one up, see who's on this one, called Madman. Uh, again, this is myself, Jim Keltner, and Tom Janzamifini, and Craig Durge. So it's the same team on this one. Let me get up here and see where we are. Here we go. This is Madman. Very Cat Stevens. Over a half a century ago, we did this.
these overtones. Boy, it really did. It's very Cat Stevens-esque, who I just loved Cat Stevens. I remember seeing his um, Tea for the Tillerman tour, and uh, it was just, he was so stunning live. I mean, just the energy and the, his musicality were amazing. And his show started off with an animated film, which he did the animation for, which was great animation. He's really a gifted artist. Um, let's see what else we got here. It's the same team on almost, almost everything here. Um, uh, let me do, uh, here's one called A Letter to Jesus. It's myself, again, the same team. Myself, Jim Keltner, uh, Tom Jans, and Mimi Freeney on guitar, and Craig Durge on piano. Let me find this one. There's A Letter to Jesus. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to write another letter to Jesus and ask him if I can be excused. <laughs> see crediting on this song, but I, I'm sure that's Sneaky Pete Kleinow on Steel on this, because I know he played on other track on this album, so it's got to be him. Sometimes the credits on these things are a little bit uh, screwy, but uh, Pete was like one of the more amazing Steel players back in the day, and it, this was engineered by the great Henry Louie, who did uh, Joni Mitchell's Blue. I mean, Henry did, he was pretty much lived at A&M Records, and uh, did tons and tons of projects there. 
And this was produced by Michael Jackson, not of the Jacksons, but Michael uh, James Jackson, who I believe passed away about a year ago. A young guy I really broke my heart when I heard that he had passed because we did like all of the early Paul Williams records together. He produced those and stuff. Um, but let's see, let's just do one more here, see what we got. Um, this is a beautiful song. I think this is just Tom and, and Mimi on this. Um, it's called uh, After the Sugar Harvest. And it's just a really great song. So I'm not sure if anybody else played on this one or not. So let's see. It's so weird on these things, too. I mean, I'm listening to you and you, you hear the record because whoever posted all these things, recorded it, you know, did this postings off of an LP. So you hear that, you hear the record going. So, I mean, if you actually had the album of this and you listen to it pure, you know, right there, uh, the fidelity is a whole lot better than what this is. This is like second generation uh, to be hearing these. But here we go. Um, the sugar, after the sugar harvest. feel like I'm back at the Ash Grove and so many of the old folk clubs of Los Angeles seeing John Fahey and Sandy Bull and Doc Watson and 
So there's so many of these great, great Leo Kotke, all these great, great musicians of that period. You know, really, really something else. It was a vibrant, vibrant period uh, in time. And it just breaks my heart. I mean, I did a solo album. I featured that some time ago with Tom Jans. Um, but just thinking of all these people's passings, I mean, and young too. I think Mimi had cancer, and uh, when Tom died, and and when you know Richard Farina died and stuff, it's like so many taken so young. It's, but their legacy lives on. You know, we've got all this music to to pull from and enjoy. Uh, well, I'll do one more here. Um, let's see what we've got. I'll just finish up. This is a song called No Need to Be Lonely, a good thought for here. And this is myself and Russ Kunkel on drums, Tom and Mimi on guitar, vocals, uh, Craig on Dergy on piano, and Edgar uh, Lustgarten on cello on this. So let's go ahead and grab that one. And I believe this is it. Last night when looking for a lady, hoping just to find myself a friend. Realized too soon that your romance seems as old as past. Perfect Russ Kunkel.
Uh, it's hard to believe. It's, I mean, I'm, I close my eyes and I can see us in Studio 2 at A&M Records. I can still see the setup and thinking it was over 50 years ago that we did that. And I think back to like getting to work with like Peter, Paul and Mary and different artists of that, that period, which it was just amazing. I feel, I feel so fortunate all the time. I, I never, I never take any of this for granted. It's a, it's been a wonderful journey. Um, so that is the album Take Heart from 1971, Tom Jans and Mimi Farina. Um, I'm going to get running now. I think I'm going to take the boys for a walk and then I'm going to come back and I have four songs to do for an album project. So I've got my, my little SSL, my SSL two plus interface here. My Frankenstein is plugged into it and I'm going to, uh, I've written some charts and I'm going to get to work and then I'll be off to the Amundsen tonight to see the temptations sort of. So, um, all my best wishes, everybody. Take good care. Remember, next Wednesday is our Clubhouse live stream, and then a week from tomorrow will be our one-on-one -on -one FaceTime and Skypes, which we can all wish each other, you know, Happy New Year at that point. So, uh, take good care, and I will uh, talk to you later. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>